So if you've been an iOS user for some time now, you've probably noticed that there is no delete function by default in the Mail app, at least for Gmail accounts. There is for Hotmail accounts, so I'm, I'm both a Hotmail and a Gmail user. So it's interesting to me because, at least uh, in iOS, I'm not sure if it's the same way for the iPad OS, but for the iPhone OS, when you're, when you're swiping left all the way to delete a message for Hotmail, it'll say delete. For Gmail, it just goes straight to the archive, which, you know, some people may want it in the archive, some people may just want to delete it. So this video is going to be about how to change that setting so when you're swiping left to get rid of something in your Gmail account, it will actually delete rather than just go to an archive folder where it just stays there and collects dust. Forever. So I'm going to be recording my iPhone screen and I'll, I'll put it up on the side of the screen here some, somewhere so you guys can see what I'm doing. So let me show you what this looks like with, without any changes in the settings. So if you go into your mail app and you see an email like that you think is spam or whatever you just don't want in your, in your inbox for whatever reason, you swipe left to delete it and you see you know, there's an archive, there's a move, and there's a more. So if you press the more button, you have to move all the way down to the move message and then select you know, trash or wherever you want it to go from that menu. Um, you know, which which doesn't take all that much longer, but it is kind of a hassle. It's a lot more more clicks with your with your thumb. To fix that, what you want to do is go into your settings, scroll all the way down to where you see password and accounts. Click on that, and then click on the the account that you want. You'll have to do this for every single account, unfortunately. But if you just have one Gmail account, you know, nothing to worry about there. So click on the account that you want to change this for. Uh, click on the account at the very top again, and then you want to click on the advanced button at the bottom And then when it says move discarded message into you want to change that check mark from archive mailbox to Deleted mailbox and once that's done, it'll change the uh, change the, the, the problem So click uh, click back and then click done if you don't press the done button This is not going to work. I've already tried that out. Okay, so let's let's get rid of this and go back into our mail folder Let's, so let's open up this suspected spam test email here. So if you guys notice, there's also a delete button at the bottom, whereas before that was an archive button. So that's one thing that's changed. So let's say we want to delete this. We can swipe left now, and now we have the trash option right there to delete it. So there you go. I hope this video was informative, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if this information has been out there for a while. I, you know, I've been, I've been on an iPhone 6S Plus for the longest time, and I've never even checked to see if it was possible to delete something using the method we did now in the mail app on iOS before. And it was, I just kind of like, you know, bared with it the entire time. It was frustrating. And then moving over to uh, to the new iPhone 11 Pro Max, I was like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. So I looked up an article on online and it was kind of dated. I think it went, I went back to like iOS 11 or 12, something like that. So it was a, it was a couple of years old. Um, and the information in there didn't exactly match up with, with iOS 13. But uh, I was able to, to kind of navigate get through and, and figure things out. So, um, so yeah, hope this helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. See you all next time.